Okay, it's six o'clock. We'll call the meeting to order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GL chapter 38, section 18, and the governor's February 15th, 2022 revised order extending remote participation by all members in any meeting of a public body. This meeting of the Great Barrington Select Board will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and our parties with a right and a requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Pursuant to MGL 7C 30A Session 20F, after notifying the chair of the public body, any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting of a public body, and may transmit the meeting through any medium. At the beginning of the meeting, the chair shall inform other attendees of any such recordings. This meeting is being recorded by the Berkshire Edge and by the Town of Great Barrington and other members of the public. Any member of the public wishing to speak at the meeting must receive permission of the chair. The listing of agenda items are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. A uh, roll call vote, Garfield. Roll Aye. call attendance, I'm sorry. Here. Here. Yeah, Here. Thank you. Eric. Here. Ed. Here. Lee. Here. And here all five board members are present. Select boards, announcements or statements, Garfield. I have nothing, thank you. Eric. Uh, nothing at this time, thank you. Ed. Ed. And Lee. Uh, one thing, um, I'd be remiss not to mention that uh, we were supposed to talk about short-term rentals tonight, which I'm not going to be talking about. Um, though I will uh, express my hope and determination that the citizens of Great Barrington will be able to vote on this uh, important issue of housing that affects the balance of housing in our community. So um, for anyone that is listening, uh, we have not forgotten you that we're determined to um, let the citizens of Great Barrington um, go forward and weigh in on this important regulation. And um, for those that uh, might take uh, uh, happiness from um, our fault in our deliberations, I say to them, um, we will continue to, to work with the citizens though, so that something comes forward for them to, to vote on. So um, we're hopeful and um, I'm looking forward to bringing that to town meeting. Thank you. Town manager's report, Mark. I have two updates tonight for uh, both for Historic Waterworks. The first one is, is for uh, the attendees, and that's just to mention that the, this board met in executive session last Wednesday evening uh, with our attorney to strategize our uh, approach to the ongoing concerns for Historic Waterworks customers. And it was decided at the conclusion of that meeting that uh, we would continue this conversation on May 18th. So we'll go ahead and post that agenda soon to keep this conversation moving along. And then my second update uh, is, is for the board uh, for a brief discussion tonight. In your packet uh, for this evening is a letter, a draft letter to Housatonic Waterworks requesting that the company provide uh, relief to its paying customers through providing bottled uh, water through reimbursements or some kind of statement credit uh, and by providing uh, water filtration options to those seriously impacted or at risk. So I'm happy to make any edits you suggest tonight. And uh, once we have a final document in place, I will go ahead and send a certified mail this week. Anyone have any edits to it? May I back up for a second and or address that or say something? Of course. Um, I just, with all this going on, I decided I wanted to take, I didn't get able to get too deep into it, but I was curious as how Flint, Michigan took care of the problem. And we can't be too far off from what they had. And I thought that might be a good place to see, search how they did take care of that. It's been a while, I did read something. I know the mayor that finally decided to go along and cough up some 
the town's money, but I don't know exactly everything. I don't remember exactly all of it, but I thought we were kind of parallel to them and might be worth investigating. Thanks, Garfield. Um, back to the letter at this point, is there any changes to it or do we have a motion to send the letter? I, I know that um, just when we say at the very, very end, given the severity of the situation, the select board would appreciate a response. Is there any way to be a bit um, harder saying that we expect a response? Because I, I just feel at this point, we, we should really expect a response rather than appreciate one. It's come to the point that um, we really need to get them on record that they've received um, these complaints and that they're listening to us. So I would ask that that's um, a stronger language at the very that's bottom. Fine. We have no authority over them and we can ask for whatever we want, but you know, we, we don't regulate them. We don't have a... Um, I'm aware of that, Edda. I, I just I'd like to have stronger to, language. I'd, I'd be inclined to keep it polite at this point. Well, I'm not saying don't be polite, but I'm just saying that we would appreciate or expect a response. I think asking for a, a response is uh, in order. I agree. I agree. So you, you think the word expect, Eric, instead of um, appreciate? Yeah, I would, I would we would expect that. and appreciate an answer. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Garfield. <laughs> any anyone else with any changes? Then a motion to send the letter. I make a motion to send the amended letter to uh, Jim Mercer, treasurer of the Housatonic Waterworks. Second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Ed. Aye. Lee. Aye. And I, it's unanimous, thank you. Thank you, we'll get that out this week. Thank you. And that's all I have for the town manager updates. Thank you. So under new business, um, Bruce Clapper, Guthrie Center for one day beer and wine license for a benefit event at the Guthrie Center on May 7th, 2022 from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. We can just promote. I think Mo Guthrie and Bruce are both here. Uh, let's see. Hi, this is Mo Guthrie, and Bruce Clapper is on the call as well. He's on another uh, device. Yeah, I've promoted him. So if one of you just wants to tell us about the event, get some free publicity, that would be great. Okay, Bruce, are you on? Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, yes we can. Okay. okay. Uh, we're doing this one day musical event to raise uh, some funds to uh, benefit uh, uh, a popular guy in the music field in this area named Jimmy Hart. He passed away, um, I believe it was yesterday morning. Um, and he's been battling cancer for months and months. So uh, we've got uh, a bunch of musical people from uh, the local area, solos and duos and a uh, couple bands uh, who stepped up to provide entertainment for a day of music and celebration of uh, Jimmy Hart's, uh, his life and his, uh, his popularity amongst the locals. Thank so, you, Bruce. Go, go right ahead. Continue. Well, that's uh, so we're applying for a one day permit so we can serve beer and wine and uh, at the event. And uh, that's about it. Thank you. Do I have a motion? You're muted. Lynn. Thank you. I make a motion to grant a one day beer and wine license for a benefit concert at the Guthrie Center, May 7th, 2022, from two o'clock to 9 p.m. to Bruce Clapper of the Guthrie Center. Second. Any other discussion? I have a question. Yes. I know Bruce from the relay. I think he's a great man. Do I need to recuse myself? Um, I don't think that just knowing someone, you have to recuse yourself. I'm not a legal expert, but I see no reason why you would have to. Okay. I'm an eye then. 
Thank you. Uh, Eric? Aye. Ed? Aye. Lee? Aye. And aye, it's unanimous. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bruce. Join us. May 7th. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Next is Sam Scott Orchards for a farm winery that's special license to sell at the Great Barrington Farmers Market from May 8th through November 13th, 2022 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Is anyone on from there that you see, Mark? I don't. No, I don't see the applicant's name here. So if someone could just raise their hand. We'll go ahead and promote you. So I'm inclined, if the board doesn't have any questions, to go ahead with this. But if you have any questions, we can move this. Um, they'll just have to miss their first the eighth, that would be the only problem if we don't vote on it. So does any of the board members have any questions? I guess, Steve, the only question I have, I know we approved this similar thing last year for this uh, farmer's market. I was just wondering if uh, they're gonna do samples and if anybody has an issue with that, if they were gonna do samples. I believe that um, came out once before and I don't remember what happened with the Great Barrington one. My, my Gut feeling was we have a, I don't know that we can do samples in public. I don't, we can, let's do it this way. Let's make the motion not allowing samples. And if they have a problem with it, they'll come back to us. So at least that they can still um, operate on May 8th without samples. Mark, do you have any input on that? Uh, it does say on the first, first or second page of the uh, application, do you intend to sell sample or both check all that apply and they've checked both. Is that consistent with our bylaws? Uh, I, I believe that that is allowable under uh, ABCC regulations, but we can confirm. I mean, this is an AB, actually, no, this is a, uh, an MDAR application, but I, I don't believe there's any problem with it, but we can double check if okay. you're gonna hold on this anyway. It's board's desire, whatever they wanna do. Yeah, I don't have a problem. There were no problems last year. Did they do I, samples last year? I can't remember. I didn't get one if they did. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I have a motion? Well, may I just say that yeah. I, I don't really have a problem with it, but I would really appreciate it in the future going forward that anyone is going to put up an event, especially if it has alcohol, please come and represent yourself so we can ask you appropriate questions or hear what's going on. You're not taking it for granted. You're making us make a decision about maybe having some of the answers we want. Garfield, for many years, that was the uh, rules of the board and we would just not vote on it if someone was not present. So that, you know, we've been a little less um, strict on it. We, we have a couple of choices. We could allow it on the 8th, just vote for a uh, the 8th and ask them to come back on the 11th to join us. It's not that difficult. It's Zoom, so it's, it's not like we're asking them to come here. Um, or we could approve it in its entirety, whichever the board's comfortable with. Yeah, I have no problem with it. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. I like the former, not the latter. Meaning you like, they you, can vote you like for the 8th eight eight and have them to come in on the 11th. That's my opinion. It doesn't hold a lot of water these days. <laughs> <laughs> do I have a motion, Lee? Well, do we, are we motioning on Garfield's motion or the, the one that I'm reading? Um, it's whatever everyone wants. Let's try it with just the eighth. It's not holding them back. They can come in on the 11th. Um, I have no problem with allowing it for the whole thing, but I understand if you have questions and that is our expectation that people will show up and it is easier in Zoom now, so. It certainly is, there's really no excuse for it. It's pretty yeah. simple. Yeah. Okay. All right, there's so. No, um, I, I, yeah. I don't okay. need to just take it for granted and I don't know. I just think you, we're here, you should be here stating your case, that's all. Yeah. It seems right, that's what we used to do. I don't know why we got away from it. Yeah, yeah. And, and to be honest, the reason we're having this meeting tonight, we didn't cancel it was because the um, two of these permits would not uh, 
couldn't wait till the 11th. So we, it would seem that if we had the meeting, it would be nice if the applicants would attend. But there may have been a communication problem. We don't know. Well, I won't so, lose any sleep over. I'm just like to see it done the right way, I guess. Okay, Lee, go ahead. Uh, I make a motion to grant a farm winery special license to sell the Great Barrington Farmers Market on May 8th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to Sam Scott's Orchards. Second. Any other discussion? Roll call vote Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Ted. Aye. Lee. Aye. And I. It's unanimous, and we'll make sure that Amy or Carmen get a hold of them for the 11th. Next is Tiffany Riva Railroad Street Youth Project for one day all alcoholic liquor license on May 21st, 2022 from 530 to 830 at the Memorial Field Bridge Street. There's Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. everyone. Hello, you wanna just tell us a little bit about it? Yes, I'm so excited. Railroad Street is finally hosting our culinary arts apprenticeship dinner. Parks and Rec is allowing us to use the field, which is incredible. Um, this year's event is working with number 10 restaurant, Marjoram and Rue, and the Stagecoach Tavern chefs. Uh, we have two apprenticeships happening right now, and they will culminate with an event on May 21st. Young people prepare the dinner. Same event, different time of the year. So. Um, Tickets are on sale. Buy your tickets now. <laughs> where, where do you tell the people here? We, we have 14 attendees and six panelists. Tell us where to get the tickets. You can buy your tickets online at rsyp.org. You can give me a call at Railroad Street or you can email me, tiffany at rsyp.org. Perfect. Cost per ticket, please? $125. $125, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Do, do I have a motion? I make a motion. I make a motion to grant a one day all alcoholic liquor license on May 21st, 2022 from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at Memorial Field to Tiffany Riva of Railroad Street Youth Project. Second. Any discussion or questions? Seeing none, roll call Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Ed. Aye. Lee? Aye. And I, it's unanimous. Lee, you want to do the next one? It's the same group. Um, sure. I make a motion to grant a temporary weekday entertainment license on May 21st, 2022, from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. at Memorial Field to Tiffany Riva of Railroad Street Youth Project. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions on this one? Roll call vote, Garfield. Aye. Eric. Aye. Eric, I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Aye. Oh, sorry. Ed. Yes. Lee. Yes. And yes, it's unanimous. Good luck, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Okay, citizen speak time. Okay, James Manning. Yeah, hello. <clears throat> Are there any restrictions on talking about certain subjects tonight? Yeah, we're, 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 we're still not talking about short term rentals. Okay, so, well, anyway, I'll go about it in a roundabout way. It's impressive to see, I haven't been to a whole lot of meetings, but it's impressive to see how people uh, follow the rules of the town and, you know, applying for a simple five hour, you know, liquor license. You know, it seems to me that anybody that is going to do something with their property uh, should also get that special permit or permission from the town. Yeah, that's all. Well, I have we're not to going say. to talk about short term rentals. So thank you very much. Yep. Good night, Trevor Forbes. Just unmute yourself, please. Hi, it's Denise Forbes. Hi, Denise. Name. Sorry about that. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much. I saw the letter, and I think that's a great job that you're going to Houston Quarter and 
telling them to reply. And I really appreciate that. And just to let you know, if anyone has time tomorrow to come around to the co-op between 11.30 and 1.30, we're basically having a petition signing event where we had a press release let, uh, sent out to a lot of the different networks out there. And basically, uh, we're trying to increase the um, awareness of what we're all going through. So uh, just to let you know, we're doing that tomorrow, 11.30 to 1.30. So if you have time to come over, Ed, we'd love to have you. And Lee, I know you're probably busy at work, but anyone else who has time, come on over. It would be great. Thank you. Thanks, Denise. Uh, Vivian Orlowski. Just name and address. I think I've been a little slack about that, but. Um, yeah, Vivian Orlowski, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Lakeview Road. <clears throat> Thank you. Excuse me. Um, I just want to express my appreciation to town manager, um, Mark Mohensky, for um, his coffee with the town manager tomorrow at 10 a.m. He's going to be featuring a discussion on the new report, the food system report, Growing Better Great Barrington. And uh, this is an over 100 page report uh, compiled by, researched and compiled by the Conway School of uh, Sustainable uh, Landscape uh, Planning and uh, in uh, coordination with the Agricultural Commission and with the uh, Sustainability and Livability Committee. Uh, and also under the aegis of the Assistant Town Manager and Director of Planning, Chris Rembold. We had a core team and uh, two of the members of the core team, Luke Prima, who's Vice Chair of the Ag Commission and um, um, Giovannina Pagano, who is um, uh, co-chair, I think, of the Sustainability Committee are gonna be meeting with the Town Manager tomorrow. And there's an opportunity for people to ask questions. The report is available free of charge. Um, on the um, AgCom page on the uh, town website. And I think there are other links. There's a press release that has a link to it. So it's readily available. If people have questions, certainly as we see our food prices rising um, and uh, questions about uh, food security and sustainability in terms of climate change. Uh, this is a great opportunity to open the discussion uh, with the public. And um, in the future, at a, <clears throat> at a, um, a mutually convenient time, um, I hope that the select board will consider having a presentation. Um, do you think that would be feasible? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ray. Anyone else? Select board time. Garfield. I have nothing right now, thank you. Eric. Nothing, thank you. Ed, please. I uh, just, I urge everyone to come to our next meeting uh, that will be posted um, to be determined, but for anyone that is interested in housing, please come to the next meeting. Uh, I have nothing, um, media uh, time. Question, Steve? Yes. I, I thought we were handling short-term rentals on the 11th at our next meeting. That's, I think what Lee just said. Oh, she said, I'm sorry, to be posted, I'm sorry. Well, we're not, we're not, it hasn't been decided yet, but that's our hope. Okay, thank you. That is our hope. Um, media time. Seeing no one by unanimous consent, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.